Our coffee breaks with researchers aim to spread knowledge about regional development and innovation. By sending a camera around the world, we present you with different angles and insights on the topic. We ask researchers directly and in a personal manner about their work. We want to make scientific knowledge accessible to all. Hi, welcome to the Coffee Break with researchers. Today, I'm at the Regional Innovation Policies Conference in Florence and I'm having a coffee break with Frank Muller. He's an Emeritus Professor of Economics and Spatial Planning. Hello Frank, thank you for accepting this invitation to our coffee break. How are you doing? Uh, I think I'm fine, yeah. If you're not going to ask too many difficult questions, I think it will work out. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Today I would like to talk with you about a paper you wrote in which you take a historic perspective on how to study social innovation in regions and localities. Could you please tell me what the paper was about? So it's a short-term historic perspective, of course. It's basically looking back on what we did with the network, which afterwards we called uh, Action Research Network on Social Innovation or Network on Action Research for Social Innovation. In the article we especially analyze the way we have worked, uh, we have done research and especially action research on uh, social innovation in neighborhoods, in cities, in, in regions and so on. At the very start we were very mainstream in what we did. We followed economic theories on local economic development. But very soon we found out that uh, if you want to work stake with stakeholders and actors that are active in, in real local development strategies, you need a much broader view of what are the possibilities, what are the needs of the people, how you should build new social relationships, what social political transformations are needed and so on. So we were forced by circumstances to change our methods quite rapidly. I see that a key notion of your paper is social innovation action research. Could you please uh, give us a definition of it? Um, the definition, I mean, just give it like that is, is a bit unpedagogical, I, I would say. It's better to point out evolution, how we got to it. I mean, in the very beginning we used economic theories of local development, as I said, we re relied on uh, so-called territorial innovation models. We, we looked at classical uh, innovation policies, uh, development strategies, uh, and so on. And, and we did that uh, by interviewing key actors, by looking at statistics on economic performance, social performance, political performance, and so on. So most of the people who were really concerned by uh, local development actions and policy were not uh, involved in what we were doing. So bit by bit we developed a method, uh, uh, methodology, which allowed people uh, who were really concerned by local development to be part of the research and action process. Uh, because roles got a bit uh, hybridized in, in the end. Uh, um, activists, politicians, local leaders became part of the research endeavor. And we as researchers became also a bit of policy advisors, organizational advisors and so on. And we were especially uh, careful in making sure that uh, the involved people uh, were expressing their needs for local development very carefully. I mean, there were typically social housing, need for good food, social services, uh, which no longer existed in, in neighborhoods that were very hard hit by, by the crisis. But we were also very concerned to see that uh, what people took as initiatives uh, was really built on rediscovering solidarity, bonding, uh, bonding that had been uh, uh, broken down through crisis situations and, and so on. And also uh, rebuilding relationships with the, with the political system, with the local authorities, with the regional government and so on. Which also, as we find out later, after 10-15 years of, of research, meant that we had to, to question the existing governance system and that we had to think much more in terms of bottom-linked governance and grassroots-based uh, political participation, for, for example. So action research uh, uh, 
means all this. You use the traditional methods of uh, analyzing, uh, quantitative analysis, you build a narrative of what is going on in, in a locality, uh, you uh, identify together with all involved partners what is relevant for the future development plan and all this goes beyond uh, goes quite a bit beyond uh, what is uh, normally called uh, innovation policy. And it involves, as I said, building social housing, it involves uh, restoring local services, it involves Im improving uh, air quality, uh, it involves uh, building uh, or uh, restoring parks and, and green areas. Uh, so it's, it's really a mix of different concerns which could be stored under the umbrella of innovation on the condition that innovation is defined in a different way, socially innovative uh, innovation in the like, uh, or um, if you include innovation in a broader package of development strategies and, and visions, which would then go back to the old school, as some say, uh, uh, where development is much more than technology, much more than business organization, but also involves cultural development, human development, uh, uh, and so on. Thank you for, for clarifying that. That's very important to know. So, um, which ones would you say are the key arguments of the paper? Uh, I think I already explained them to, to quite a high extent. I mean, the key arguments are that when you uh, develop a methodology, you do it in interaction with the people who are concerned but by what you're studying, um, but by what you, wor you want to organize, in a way. So, the methodology in many of the projects we, we did to uh, develop this research trajectory has also been negotiated with the other partners, the so-called non-research partners. Uh, activists saying, I mean, what you're telling there is not, is not relevant because we, we experience it completely differently. So we asked them, then how would you analyze that situation? What does it mean? And to give you one example, in, in, in Lisbon, in, in the center of, of Lisbon, we had to go in the, ha in the homes of old people to understand what they wanted to, to, to happen as uh, urban development of, of their uh, uh, neighborhood and so on. These are people, for example, that would never come to an official forum, to an official arena, so you have to go to their homes. Same holds with illegal migrants who are soi-disant uh, uh, temporarily illegal, but in fact some of these illegal people stay for years in the same city, so something has to be done with them as well. So that means that you, you have to interview in the street, you have to organize happenings to make sure that local politicians understand better what the housing needs are, what the food needs are, the health needs are, and, and so on. So, Methodology is built interactively. It conciliates old methods, quantitative, uh, qualitative, new, new methods. So uh, jointly built narratives are extremely important. Ethnography, uh, with many writers and observers and participants at the same time, so collective ethnography is, is very important. Uh, joint imagineering is extremely important, so it's not just a, a consultancy office together with the local authorities that will uh, draw a map or a plan for a neighborhood. No, this is a multi-agent endeavor uh, with a lot of socio-political mobilization, with a lot of culture sensitivity and, and diversity uh, taken into account. Thank you, that's indeed very important to know. and. Um I'm also interested in knowing what was your personal motivation in doing this research? Um, there was a negative and, and a positive motivation. The negative one was that I, I was fed up with the simplicity of uh, technology, uh, the simplicity of technological innovation. Um, considering this as the recipe for um, 
yeah, getting out of the economic crisis of the 70s and, and 80s in Western Europe, for example. I understood from the very, very beginning that this would not be sufficient, that it could only be part of a, a broader program, uh, which would involve everything I just referred to, in, in a way. The positive motivation was to um, play a role as, as an academic in locality building, in building capacity at, at a local level, in, in working together with uh, actors in, in different sectors of society to build realistically, realistic and, and grounded uh, uh, strategies for neighborhood development, local development, regional development. I mean, we have a host of examples and uh, experiences that are described in, in the bibliography of the paper and also in the recent book I just uh, published on uh, advanced introduction to social innovation, together with my good friend uh, Diana McCallum from Australia. Uh, thank you for sharing that. And I finally want to ask you about the, uh, your opinion on the relevance of this uh, future research on this field uh, for policy making. Let me focus on, on the relevance of action research. I mean, sharing research and action between researchers, politicians, activists, citizens, concerned citizens, and so on. I mean, when you go in the streets today, people are really fed up with politics. And they react in very different ways. They vote in a racist way, often without knowing that they're doing that, that they are voting for a, ra a racist party they vote for very radical options and so on and 20 to 30 percent does not vote at all i mean in a system like belgium where uh, there is uh, 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 voting is manda mandatory uh, 20 to 30 percent uh, don't vote or vote blank or uh, re remain absent. So that's a clear voice too. I mean, people withdraw from politics um, because they don't trust politicians anymore. And I understand why. It's because we have too many salon politicians. We have too many politicians that are just concerned about their own business or to be mild, politicians who do not understand the language of, of the people. I mean, too many people have to plow on from day to day to survive. Uh, no home or hardly manage to rent a home, hardly manage to pay their uh, mortgage, uh, uh, have to find for jobs and complementary jobs because the whole labor mar market is, is flexi flexibilized and, and so on. So here lies in this model of action research also lies an opportunity for politicians to get involved with a kind of science that is much more connected to what's going on on the ground. And at the same time that is not disconnected from grant analysis of how the market works, how institutions should be rebuilt uh, uh, and revisited and, and, and so on. Thank you very much for that. That's indeed very, very important and relevant in our times. So those were my questions for today. I really thank you for having this uh, time to chat with me. And uh, it was a pleasure for me to have you here in a coffee break. And I wish you all the best and hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope the message is uh, useful and it would be nice to have some reactions to that message. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in more details about this academic publication, you can find here the link below. And see you next time. Bye bye.